Congratulations to all the recent grads out there. Two and a half tips on how to begin your professional career and not stub your toe. One, please do not ignore your student loans. The interest that you're not paying because you're just like pretending like it's not there, like it's a Drake meme, continues to accumulate even if you're not paying on that student loan. So your $10,000 student loan balance, let's say for an example, can quite quickly and easily grow to $11,000, $12,000, $13,000 if you don't get after that student loan balance. Thing number two, please, please, please do not go out and get a gigantic car payment. I know it's really fun. You're going to get your first job. You're out in the world. You're like, yeah, I want a car and a car payment to go along with it. If you're gonna go get, let's say $4,000 a month in your pre-tax first job, please do not go out and get a $400 car payment. It is going to eat into your ability to do other things, let alone things like save, pay off student loans, you know, have fresh groceries. Thing number two and a half, for as long as you can bear it and for as long as your parents can bear it, stay at home and sock away as much into your savings as you possibly can. Because nobody in the history of history has ever said, I have too much money in my savings account. It's a great cushion to have and it'll make getting out into the world on your own that much smoother. And if you're thinking about doing it all, graduating, starting that career, and you're thinking about buying a house, click on the blue button at acunet.com to see how much you can buy with a guaranteed rock solid pre-approval.